good morning guys and welcome to today's video it is early girls are still sleeping sam and i are up and we're gonna go down and take care of our babies i have a bunch of things on my list for to buy the horses but i want to wait until we go to the expo on saturday so if you guys are going to be in the markham area the toronto area on saturday this saturday coming up then make sure you go to the equine horse expo the can am uh horse expo because you will see us there and don't forget to come up to us because we're not that scary. <laughs> Sometimes we see people when we're out and about and they're like, oh my gosh, but they're too nervous to come up to us. But definitely come up to us because we are totally not scary and we love seeing you guys and meeting you guys. My goal this week is to start building a bond with Stella. I do not have a bond with Stella at all. Only Gabby does, really, and Sophie. And I need to start doing stuff with her, but it's hard for me because I'm always vlogging. So um, either Sam's gonna have to come and vlog, or I'm gonna have to start putting the camera down and setting it up somehow. These little things are really good for setting up the camera. I mean, we do have tripods too, so I don't know why I don't use those. But my riding lesson is tomorrow, and I really want it to go well. Hey, kitty kitty. Stella, Stella, good girl. Stella just wants to go away. Y'all got it. I didn't put any food in here for Finn today because it's about time he gets used to the girls and being out there with them. Gets used to Willow. Come on, Finn. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll be brave for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stella, you're going to let Finn eat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right here, look. There's hay for you. You got it right beside your girl. There you go. Don't be scared. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. You got to come outside with the girls now. Uh-oh. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, Finn. I caved. Who am I kidding? I feel bad for him. He won't stay out there without me. He won't stay out there without me because he's, just, he's nervous. I created a bad situation here, letting him eat inside, but I want him to eat. No, of course we're never selling Finn. You had a dream that I secretly sold Finn? That's a weird dream. So you better not think about it. I do not think about it. I think he's the best investment we ever bought. Totally worth the money. Ah, he was so good to lead out. He had total manners. You taught him good, Sophie. When we first got Finn, he had terrible manners in the stall and bringing him out of the stall, he was really pushy. I took him out today and Sylvia has him trained perfectly. He stood like a statue and didn't take a step wrong. Like he was so easy, so gentle. Even taking off his, his halter out here, he was amazing. I mean, it could be just because he ran so much yesterday that he's too tired to fight me. It's funny that Finn is really spooky on the ground, but not under saddle. Is that weird? Yeah, but not super spooky. Finn nickers to me every morning. So 
we got a new little creature. Right there. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> He's going underneath the door! He's installing us. Wait, 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 don't scare him. Don't scare him. Oh my god, you're gonna give him a Sophia, you're stop. Everybody calm down. You're gonna give him a heart attack. Settle. He's just young. Come outside, dude. Oh. oh my god. Not a pitchfork. And now he's in Willow Star. Close to our stall. Because it's storage in there. We don't want to go in there. We should close this one too. Okay, just leave it that much. So another thing that I haven't mentioned about Stella is that even when there's food out, she comes and interacts with us now, and that's new. Before, if there was hay, she had her nose stuck in the hay pile. But now she'll come in here and she'll like be with us and interact with us. Like we were making Finn not scared of Willow and she came bolting in. Like, no, let me in. Yeah, she she does protect Finn from Willow. That is poop, yeah, Finn. That's that's what it is. <laughs> so after we do chores, we come back and everybody has breakfast. And I love it. It's like it's like this big huge unity. This amazing feeling. Are we? Ruby, yeah. come on. Uh -huh, that's great. So yeah, I like it. We all come home. We all get together, have breakfast, and then start our school day. First, I gotta wash my hands because I've been picking up poop. So far, I've been doing really good at remembering to do shout outs um, while I'm in the car. So I'm gonna shout out Olivia Baker today, and she was so kind. And I'm gonna read you guys her comment because it was really a, it meant a lot to me. Uh, she said it's true that what that person said. Gabby and Storm are great together, and I'm so glad that you guys didn't listen. The haters. I know that the I know that feeling that Gabby has in her heart for Storm. You sh you would do whatever it takes to be with them, even if you can't do what you want with them. Thank you for always being yourselves and admitting you're not perfect, and asking for everyone's advice to see their different opinions. Also for being so active in the comment section, which to me proves you're not doing it just for the fame. Because I nearly always get a heart and a reply. And the reason I really liked your comment, Olivia, is that when we first started to grow our channel. Um, people said all these horrible things. We had so much hate and people said you're just commenting back to people because um, When you get bigger, you're gonna stop doing that and I said I would never stop doing that because this is what's important to me And we have never stopped doing that because it really honestly is so important to us You guys are really truly important to us and as far as asking for advice We don't always listen to every single thing because we get overwhelmed with all the advice sometimes but you guys, I learned the most through reading all of your different perspectives and that is so valuable to me. I feel like I should be paying you guys for helping me. I go to my lessons sometimes and to our trainers with questions that I only have ever thought of because of you guys. I learn so much from you guys. I always feel like when people say this stuff in their vlogs that it's fake, but it is so true for me. And I also feel like we're a team because I'm able to interact with you. I know so many of you guys by name and I can't imagine my life without you guys. Even the girls, whenever they do something amazing, they're like, did you show them? Did you show them? Like you guys are such close family to us. But anyway, thank you so much, Olivia. This video is dedicated to you. We had to go out and get cat food. And of course, Sophie dragged me to the toy section. To show her what I want. And I said, toys? What do you need toys for? You have a barn full of horses at home. Because I can play with the toys with the horses. But these are cool. These are squishies. But they're they like stuff. glitter all over. Yeah, but they're stuffed squishies and they feel good. I like these. Like they are cool. Is that a, a unicorn one? It's a unicorn. One? Mm -hmm. so I they're 20 they're bucks. Unicorns are really in, you guys. Unicorns are in this year. Aww, I want a foal. Just joking. <laughs> Watching a race car driver with his foal makes me realize that foals are a lot harder than you think. And I'm like one to love and, and cuddle them and it could make for a dangerous adult horse. 
Oh, we used to have a little dog stroller. And then we had the Macy puppy. Wouldn't it be funny to have a willow stroller? So somebody sent me a link to a versatile horsemanship page uh, video last night and she taught her Minnie to pull a dog sled. That was really cool. I loved that video. It's slime. It's like real, actually good slime. Or these ones could be grass. So slime is in this year too, you guys. Feel it. That's a really nice unicorn one. I know. And we're back to snow. If you guys can see, a second ago I looked out there and it was a blizzard. It's so annoying. We were going to go down. I promised Fiona that Sophie would ride Finn every single day. Sophie. Not today. You have to ride Finn today. No, not today. It's a blizzard out. It's really hard, you guys, when the weather's bad because it's so cold. Like, it's hard like when you're all bundled up it's hard to explain unless you know but I know a lot of you guys know you're it is cold down here the girls are down here working with Willow I saw the other horses are locked outside oh, good girl. It drives me crazy that they poop in here and then the girls don't clean up the poop before they start working with the horses or between working with the horses because that's just gross into trouble you are kind of like a Stella why are you so spooky today so original you are never backing down backing down backing it always amazes me that cats can walk up walls oh it's windy maybe so I was gonna get Sophie up on Finn but it's it's kind of but look at him he doesn't seem to care <laughs> about Finn is that the minute he gets mad he like throws little temper tantrums just like storm must be a boy thing he the minute he gets mad he what what does he do when he gets mad he, gets antsy and like swishes his tail. he swishes his tail and what's the other thing he swishes his head. his head because he's mad right now and he's just switching his head and he doesn't have a bit in or anything yeah see that's what he does but it doesn't help when you got like a stalkers <laughs> This must be a girl thing. They're like, what's going on behind the door? What's happening back there to our fin friend Finn? Well, not your friend. Ooh. Stella is such a loving Stella's horse. boyfriend. Yeah, she protects Willow. Gabby got mad at Willow and shushed her away because she was getting a little pushy. And Stella ran and stood between Gabby and Willow. So, um, he needs a race car driver ride too. Gabby just got him in trouble for shaking his head and acting up. And instantly he stopped. So, he just needs to be told. He needs a boss. Sophie's not, Sophie's, Sophie's like me. She's not boss. super bossy. It's a mayor thing. It's a mayor thing. Finn does not do that. Finn yeah. Does. Yeah, they all do. They all spy. You know what? They think that Finn's getting food and they're not. That's probably it. <laughs> no, people are going to ask. Anytime we do anything new with the horse that is more advanced, we get Gabby to do it first because she's our more advanced rider and then Sophie does it. So that's just how we do it. I know Sophie is capable. But we just want to be safe. And uh, Gabby's going to try and ride a Finn bitless. Here is my prediction. I think he's still going to do the head shaking and the tail tossing. And I think it's behavioral, guys. I'm like so sure that it is. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out if that's, if I'm right, 
because I don't have much experience, but I'm just watching him a lot and learning from him. And I think that that's what's gonna happen. Finn, it's almost like he's like, I'm just gonna do this and get through it. I'm just gonna hurry up and finish it so that it's done. That's what it seems like with him. And it's better in the saddle than on the ground, I feel like. Finn actually does the head tossing without a rider on him and without a bit in. So I suspect that it's just behavior. All right, so uh, we tried a little bit of lunging and he did not listen at all. And so we decided that we're not gonna ride him today until oh, our trainer is here tomorrow. At this point, I don't want to, I don't want Sophie to have any bad rides on Finn because I'm really loving the confidence level that she has. So if it means not riding when he's acting kind of not himself, then that's what it's gonna take. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.